Hello, this is Chad Griffith, and this video is meant to help my students to take the bibliographies that they have built in EasyBib and annotated in EasyBib and export those to their research papers as a Google document. So, here is EasyBib. I will presume that they can get logged in using Google, like so. If not, there is a separate video just for that purpose. EasyBib will uh, off and on request permission to work with Google. The answer will have to be yes if you want to use these two together. I recommend it. Find the appropriate project. In this case, I'm using United States Major Conflicts. I click on Bibliography. It should open. I can double check to make sure everything is there. Looks good to me. Each one of these should have an annotation and should have the URL turned on. The next step is to export. So I click on export. Now how do I want it exported? I want it exported as a Google Doc. So save to Google Docs. It may or may not ask me again for permission to allow the two to work together. I've picked the appropriate account and sure enough it wants to know if I will allow access which I do. File successfully uploaded. Great. So go to Google Docs and look at it. Here it is. The file is named EasyBib and then it has a date time stamp. So the year, month, day, and time right down to the seconds that it was created. <clears throat> So, the next step is to copy this and paste it into the actual working document that has likely already been connected to the teacher. So I'm going to highlight the entire works cited page, in this case pages. Control C for copy. Going over to my paper, which currently has a blank first page and a rubric for a second page. This is the way I built the papers for my students this year. Here, I'm simply going to control V as in Velcro to paste the works cited page in. I double check by looking at it. Nothing looks weird. It's not bold. Uh, works cited is centered. Simple double spaces all the way through with hanging indents. Looks beautiful. Already alphabetized for me. <clears throat> the catch is that the works cited page should of course be at the end of the paper. Now that I have my works cited page in the paper, my next step is to move it down to the second page. The best way to do this is to insert a page break. We could go to insert and scroll down to page break, or we can put the cursor where we want one, hold down the control key, and tap enter one time. Boom, page break. Page break forces the line that you're on to go to a new page, and then it keeps it on the next page from where you're working throughout the work of the document. So now this document is ready. All right, I need to left justify it here, make sure I'm at the top, and I can start typing my uh, header, title, and outline. Like so. All right, that's the whole process for exporting the works cited page to its own Google document, copying it, pasting it into the working document and creating a page break so that it moves down to the second page.